Good morning. Welcome to Astro Family Culinary Academy. My name is Chef Caesar. Today I want to be making the German potato salad. This potato salad is not our typical potato salad that we're used to, which is uh, mayonnaise base, maybe a yogurt or cream. It's nice and creamy, it's sort of pretty much cold. This salad, salad is made when the salad potatoes are hot. And you want it why? Well, when we start Let's start with some, uh, some uh, new red potatoes. potatoes. You can also use the white potatoes They're like this. They look nice and white and they work real well too. I have all my setup here as you can see. I got some red onions, some yellow onions, my green onions, some mustard, my bacon. This one is made with this brush and it's made with some hot bacon fat, some vinegar. I got some uh, cider vinegar, some uh, and all oil, my uh, mustard seeds over here, my seasons. As you can see, I got everything ready to go, which is very important before you start cooking. And uh, over here, I began by uh, cooking my potatoes. I do want to start your potatoes in the cold water, sir. You know, and I got them boiling here with some uh, cut up some yellow onions, just cut them in quarters and throw them in there. Also, you want to add some salt. I have to cook them a little bit ahead of time so that, you know, they start cooking before we start the show. But again, you want to wash the potatoes really well before you start cooking them. You know, you quarter the onions and uh, throw them in there with some. Uh, some salt, a couple of tablespoons of salt, you can use uh, kosher salt. Sorry for the delay, we had a little uh, microphone issue here, so I had to fix it, now hopefully it's fixed, and here we are again. Like I was saying, I have my potatoes uh, boiling over here with some uh, cold water stuffer. I got some, uh, cut up some yellow onions, put some salt in there, and you want to make sure you want to uh, wash your potatoes really good before you start cooking them. And uh, this salad is made when the potatoes are hot, like I was telling you. You know, try to, you know, when you drain them, keep them hot or you can slice them right away as soon as you can hold the potatoes slice them because uh, the reason why is because you want the, the dressing to soak into the potatoes this is what's going to give the nice flavor otherwise if you let them cool off the potatoes are going to dry up and the dressing is going to pretty much be repelled because you know the starches are going to dry up and the oils are going to just run out run out of the potatoes so that's why you want to do it when it's, it's warm now we're going to start by cutting up some bacon while the potatoes are finishing off we do like you know probably half a pound of bacon here when I chop it up, not too fine, just you know, some big chunks of bacon. And this potato salad is really nice. I mean, maybe you've never had it before, but you know, now you will see that it's really easy to do. There's nothing to it. And uh, again, it's a nice dish you can, you know, accompany with some uh, maybe some sausages, some German dish. And uh, maybe it's uh, even an old turkey, cold turkey sandwich you can do. It's, uh, I mean, you can use it in many different ways. And again, something a little bit different than what we used to, that we have the creamy potatoes, which is a mayonnaise base. And uh, now we're going to check, see if our potatoes are done. It's really easy to check them. You want to, you know, just poke them with your knife. And again, this, they need to go a little more. If they're done, they're going to fall right off the knife. It's a nice way to test them. But again, a couple more minutes, I want to put the lid back on. So, you know, builds up some uh, steam. And now I'm going to put my bacon aside a little bit here. You know, I want to cut some of my uh, red onions that we're going to be using, you know, for uh, our potato salad. Put down my pour here. This is where your knife skills are going to come really handy. One red onion would be enough. 
to make the recipe. Dice them up. down here Our onions excuse me I want to check see my potatoes are getting close I want to drain the water from here so we can start cooking my bacon to make the dressing I get in there I can take them off the fire leave them in the, in the water for a little bit more so they keep cooking that way they stay hot as well now I'm gonna start you know making my dressing I want to put my bacon on. We're gonna make it nice and crispy, which it won't take too long. Be careful. If you want, you can also use salt pork, which is uh, pretty much the same thing as bacon, but it's thicker. It comes in a bigger piece. You can also use that. I use some, I've used some smoked bacon, which is smells really nice. I kind of cut a bigger, bigger piece of soil and uh, it becomes too small when it cooks and all the fats render. As you can see, this is going to be really you know, fast to make. This potato salad it's not, it's not complicated, it's really quick. And it's going to have a wonderful flavor from the bacon fat that we're going to be uh, using. You know, our cider vinegar, our onions. It's going to be a nice, a nice potato salad. With a, it's going to be kind of creamy too because we're going to add some uh, yellow mustard then as well. Wow, this smells great. want to make the bacon nice and nice and brown I believe we have a question over here. What's the purpose of boiling onions with the potatoes? The question was, what's the purpose of boiling onions with the potatoes? Well, that's to give the potatoes a little more flavor. As you know, when you just boil potatoes in water with salt, there's really not much flavor to it. So the onions going to add a little more uh, flavor to the potatoes as well. Okay, now I'm going to take my bacon off the... 
I'm going to try to leave some of the fat behind. So I use my slotted spoon. As you can see, drain some of the fat off. Now I want to add my onions in there. I have another question over here. One of the students saw you slice the onion through the core. Are you supposed to do that in day-to-day uh, -day cooking? Well, when you guys are practicing this, because uh, I've been doing this for so many years, and for me it's easy to do it because, you know, I'm used to it. But, you know, for you guys, when you guys are practicing at home, once you get good with it, you can slice it through the core. Because as you can see, I was able to keep the onions uh, together. But, you know, if you want to get good with the knife skills, you can go, you can, uh, go right through the core. You can take it off like I did. But, you know, I want you to kind of, until you feel comfortable, you know, try to keep the core in there. That way you keep the onions uh, layers together. Now I'm going to drain my potatoes over here. start slicing them while making my uh, my dressing I want to caramelize on this a little bit now I can be slicing my potatoes as you can see they're so you know hot and you want to do it when it's, it's warm if you want to wait a little bit I'm used to you know hot items so my hands are pretty much used to this so I'm able to do them right now when it's still pretty hot. If you want to wait a little bit, that's okay. Let's see. I want to saute the onions a little more here. You can see the steaming hot, which is nice. That's what we want. Mustard seeds, the onions, and vinegar. Salt. Put my potatoes in the bowl so I make a little more room so I can start cutting them all. You can see they're pretty hot still. here. I want to finish cutting my potatoes. Let's say the last one. Now we're going to start putting and making a potato salad, put it together, add the rest of the ingredients. Our 
bacon in here. More onions. And nice and caramelized. We have a question. The question was, when you're shredding the onions, what temperature should you use? Well, you want to go into like kind of medium flame. If you have like an electric stove, I had like I do here now, I had like a number four. But if you have a gas stove at home, use like a, a medium to low. You don't want to cook them too much or burn them. So now we got our stuff. Now we're going to chop some of the green onions to go on there. Use quite a bit of green onions for color. Also, a couple questions. Um, what type of vinegar and olive oil, and also, uh, why didn't you use the onions you cooked the potatoes with? The question was, what type of vinegar or olive oil we use? Well, the vinegar was apple cider vinegar, and I used canola oil for the dressing. And the second question was, why don't we use the onions that we cook the potatoes in? Well, because onions are like, you know, boil, and I just don't want to, you know, take them out and start the cooking process. So those things pretty much get discarded, and we'll start with the red onions, because the red onions are going to give the, the salad a nicer color. So that's why we don't use the white onions. We want to have a little color to your, to your salad, so that's why we use the, the red onions. Now we're going to add some green onions to a potato salad here. I want to chop some parsley. I have some uh, Italian parsley I'm chopping up here. You can also use curly parsley, but myself, I like Italian parsley. It's got a nicer flavor, smells great. Mix everything together here. I want to give it a squeeze of some uh, Dijon mustard, a couple of tablespoons. Right now, all the uh, liquid is soaking in because the potatoes are hot, and uh, they're going to absorb all the flavor from the dressing, from the vinegar, the oil, the mustard I put in there. So as you can see, it's very simple to make a nice German potato salad. Salt and pepper here. It smells nice with the mustard seeds, the mustard I put in there. Nice little spicy flavor. And there you have it. Very nice, easy to do German potato salad. I believe we have another question over here. Should this be served warm or cold? The question was, should this salad be served warm or cold? You can do either or. So you want to, you know, if you want to do warm, it's great, tastes nice. But if you want to save it and use it the next day, you can still do that. Serve it cold, it's going to taste great as well, because all the flavors are going to soak in into the potatoes even more, and it's going to have a much richer flavor tomorrow morning or whenever you serve it. So you can refrigerate it overnight and, uh, and use it for next next day. So you can make it ahead of time. But when it's, you can also heat it up, you know, when you take it out next morning, you can warm it up a little bit, so it kind of resembles a fresh made potato salad. So, do you have any more questions over here? Well, I want to remind you guys to, you know, go to the website and uh, join the trivia questions that we have up there every day related to food uh, questions. That everybody's uh, loving it, it's having a good time, and we're going to, like I said before, raffle in this uh, wonderful food processor, so you never know. You might, you know, get lucky and uh, win this uh, nice... Uh, machine for your addition to your kitchen so you can make some wonderful dishes and uh, make it easy for you to, to work. So just keep in mind that go there every day, log in and kind of
do some work in your assignments as well, and I'll play the game. And uh, thank you for being here this morning. It's really fun having you guys all here, and i see you next week with another wonderful day we're going to be making. Thank you. Have a nice day.